move for two letters. Okay, fine. Good. So, uh, now stones are much warmer. We're going to do the back again for the second time. But now it's really stones that are warmer, so we need to do the flipping quite quicker. Okay? So, and a lot of it is just revision, you know? Putting quite a lot of oil. And then I'd like to use this tom. Copy one, two, three. Okay, it's quite hot. What I'll do, I'll pass it on to you to feel, for you to feel what is a hot stone really. That is not the hottest. You could actually feel, you could do more hot, so it's not terrible hot. All right. Yeah? Okay, now, what I do before, I'll drop it again into the cold water because I want the skin of the stone to be colder. So the first effect is not going to be too warm. Good. That's it. Okay. Now I need to do the flipping quite often. How was the heat? Yeah. Good. If I'll start thinking and slowing down, not going to be good. You need to really keep, keep it moving. You can do any sort of movement, but keep it moving. You can still do the flipping. Same thing. Nothing changed since last time, but you need to do it more often. How is it? Yeah, great. Okay. After a while, you can slow down. You put pressure now. Now let's talk about the pressure. You, if you do light pressure, it does not transfer the heat well. So you need to press it quite lightly or strongly. You can do very deep work, but be careful to wear. Yeah. <clears throat> Sacrum area, you have to be careful because of the bone, mm -hmm. hip, hip bone, ribs, the spine itself, the scapula. scapula, yeah, the skull, you know, the top of the shoulder, all are quite dangerous to work directly on. But let's say I want to. Now, after working for a few minutes, my hands are warm, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, can I now... I have few choices. If the stones is only warm, <coughs> one nice thing I can do is basically put it like that on the sacrum. Is it too much? Huh? Okay. And then I can either bring another stone or uh, work with my hands, you know. I can do now on the area that were quite uh, warm, I can now do the massage with my fingers, yeah. Um, I can also use my warmed hand as on, the, on that area. And the stone I can put somewhere else. And I can use my knuckles. My hands is warm, so, you know, it's not as hot as the stones, but quite nice. Okay. Another thing that I can do is come and put the stone on her hand, like that. And now come and bring another stone. And that's what I'm going to do. Too hot? Yeah. 
Was yeah. that? No? Okay. Feel this tone now. Okay. So you see that this tone now becomes mm. quite quite hot. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. So it's warm. You need to work fairly quickly. So I work, but now I feel my hands too much. I flip it. Now it's not the right time to stop. You need to be quite on the ball, quite confident. You can work even on the side. You can work with one side and change it. Or you can flip it with just with one hand. Do you ever do two at one time? I mean, not Sorry? quite advanced. Two you stones. Could, you could definitely, Both yes. Sides. If you do that, then you can do. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. But to do it with the hot stones, it's quite an advance because you have to work fairly quickly. Yeah. yeah? Good. Now, do you see the, the redness here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I work very quickly, and you see the the effect on the skin, blood circulation get better. To achieve it in massage, you need to work fairly deep and long, but here in a few minutes, mm -hmm. you already got this effect. Okay. Now, stones is quite cold. I can work a bit slower. And deeper? And deeper. So I work quite deep, I change my position all the time to get into the best posture. For me, working on the gluteus, upper gluteus muscle, is part of the spine really. You can now put the stone and just do compression. Nice. How's that? <laughs> Good, fantastic. Good. Yeah. Good. Then come to the other side. Pretty much the same thing. So it's still the same cupping, or you can do it this way. Now, in our society, a lot of sitting happening. Blood circulation to the hip is not very good. So it's nice to work these muscles. And you know what? A lot of back pain improves working on the hip. Yeah? yeah? Because of the nerves. No, not because only that, because of the stiffness of the mm -hmm. hip. And then the sciatic nerve could occur. Good. How about working on the QL, quadratus lumbarum? Yeah? So now you can put the stone in a bit of a tip this way and you come into the side. Yeah? Quadratus lumbarum, usually I would work this way yeah? on it. Yeah? So you can work in between the hip and the lower ribs. Good. These stones, chilled, yeah, then I'll bring another one, but before that just quickly a bit more oil. Sometimes that's enough, I don't want to spend time. You could bring now the big stones in. Yeah, so again, it's quite hot. Work your way fairly quickly. The, the, the rolling, the flipping, should do quite regularly. It's nice to do that when, when the stone comes this way. Look, I do that. 
It's almost like, you know, skateboarding, when they <laughs> move, they have this rolling <laughs> up, change, down, <laughs> yeah? So imagine this, like, whoop, the stone flip, <laughs> go down. And also it's safer because I don't want to do too much around the head. Around the hip, yeah, even if it's, even if it's bony, give it, yes, give it a little bit of a, of a massage, you can come then upward, middle back always a bit tighter, yeah? We'll do after that neck and shoulders, so I'm not concerned about it, but you know, you can start working around here. Can you use ever like the side part of the stone? It's yeah, more... like that. No, or even like that way up. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do deeper work, we'll do it after, but we'll see different ways. But so far, I mean, I've worked on the stole for what three, four minutes. Feel it. It's still, it's still quite hot. So. Those stones, because they are thicker, they contain and retain the heat a lot more. Mm -hmm. It can be working with a stone for about 5-10 minutes until you're really ready to swap over. Yeah? Good. Now what I'll do, when this stone is cooled off, I will go to the first stone change, put this stone there, and take this stone into the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. So you see there is always some stones on the client's body. And you can put them here, you can put them onto the sacrum, you can put them onto here, all depends on what you want to achieve. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's why you need a lot more stones, because they're always the moving stones. Always stone moving, staying on the body, and then coming back to the slow cooker. Do you always have one slow cooker, or sometimes have two? One. Always one. One is enough, yeah. Okay. yeah. Good. Um, any questions? Um, why don't we let our model to dress and then see how she feels? She will give. She, she will tell us how, how she felt. Shall I turn it off? Yes, please.